hello everyone in this video i will explain you the very important thing that is ivf that is in vitro fertilization with very simple technique and with very easy understanding so what is ivf the students of undergraduate uh, literally uh, have a very less knowledge about ivf and they are very scared to hear what ivf is there and IVF has been increasing day by day as a chief treatment of infertility, even unexplained infertility. So what we do in IVF? We basically take female eggs, that is ovums. We also take males egg, that is sperms. What we do? We mix them in the tube so that the sperm and ovum will get mixed and become a embryo okay what happened uh, there is a ovum the sperm will that sperm will fertilize the ovum and we will get the embryo and that embryo we transfer manually in the uterus so this is basics of ivf now how we do this thing how we get female eggs what we do in IVF that is very important we do here is a multiple follicle development for example normally what happens this is the ovary of any patient and these are the ovarian follicles on the early phases of follicular phase now at the end of the follicular phase one dominant follicle is developed while other remain or become atresic okay what we do in ivf we provide external fsh and lh external remember we provide external injections of fsh and lh that why that's why every follicle here will become bigger and become a dominant follicle every follicle okay so here you can see every follicle has become a bigger now we do a pickup pickup is a procedure done in operation theater and that is ultrasound guided for example if you see here this is a uterus this is a vagina we introduce transvaginal probe into the vagina and from the transvaginal probe one needle is coming out and that needle will go and take out and sucked out those ovas from the follicle and that ova will come into the test tube now what we do in the test tube we just uh, we just uh, 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 wash the ova and put multiple sperms into that test tube that's why the sperm will then uh, uh, then fertilize the ovum this is the IVF procedure normal what increasingly becoming popular is ICSI what is ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm ejection injection that means we take a ova we hold the ova microscopically and we just inject a sperm one sperm into a ova very microscopically these are very very latest technology um, where we can actually hold one ova and we can put a sperm into that ova see here this is a bigger ova and the sperm is uh, injected into the ova with the help of this very microscopic uh, micro pipette okay so this is a very important technology nowadays what happens after we inject the sperm into ova it becomes a embryo okay on various stages for example blastocyst stages and then goes for further and further now we transfer this embryo after checking into this uterus so this is what and the the embryo will get implanted on the endometrium and that will the person will get a baby or will get a pregnant so this is a procedure what we do we do ovarian stimulation thing ovarian stimulation we make all the ovaries all the ovas uh, uh, bigger or dominant second comes the egg pickup ultrasound ultrasonography we pick up the egg uh, we do egg fertilization with either IVF or ICSI that is sperm ejaculation then what we do we make a embryo uh, we just monitor the embryos for their development 
the embryo which have a good development only transferred into the uterus you can transfer one embryo two embryo three embryo four embryo at a time okay so this is how ivf is becoming very popular nowadays and it should be a popular uh, 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 technique and it is a very useful technique to uh, once a, once upon a time where the the couple who is infertile was under investigation under treatment for years and then also they were not getting pregnant but with this ivf technology it's a, it's very important it's physiological only uh, the couples are more and more couples are getting pregnancy and getting treated by ivf ivf also remains a chief treatment in case of tubal factor is there for example if the tube is obstructed or not good or not there then the infertilization the so fertilization does not happen so in those cases we have to go for ivf increasing uh, chances of uh, having ivf in expl unexplained infertilities too so ivf is again i am telling you becoming very popular uh, due to uh, its success chance because it gives you some 50 to 60 percent success for a baby so that is very important for ivf so the uh, all this was about ivf thank you